feel like discussing how to brace a little more, well, pull up a chair. Let's talk about it. Spin it. Hey DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. Bunky here, and the topic before us today is bracing. And I get it, there's been a lot done on bracing in the past month or so. Overthrow has done a series on it, uh, Nick Crush has done a series on it. Uh, most recently, Clint from Blitz uh, Disc Golf has done a video, maybe two, on it. So you may be wondering or thinking or asking yourself why in the world is now Bunky doing something on this when it seems like it's so overdone and I get it and I agree I'll link I'm sure you guys have seen all the videos that all three of those have done already um, but if you haven't I'll link them down below um, and but I, I agree with something that Clint said in his video that y your body intrinsically knows how to stop itself. I mean, if I go over and X step toward the wall of that shed, I, I'm going to know how to stop myself to, so I don't run into the shed. To me, that's bracing. And I, and I get it. A, a, lar a large majority, I guess, of us automatically do this without even thinking about it but yet I, i'm in the power disc golf academy i don't know if you can tell or not and every day it seems that there are people putting up form videos and asking for feedback that aren't bracing properly so there is a there is a population out there that just not getting it and, and how to do it and how to feel it so that's that's really my target audience for this. I mean, if you know how to brace, this this may help you too because I know Nick knows how to brace and his in his series he's he even says, "Wow, I'm I'm learning as I'm doing it." So, and I've done this for the past couple of days and I'm putting back here because there's a chair and that's what we're going to be using as a prop. And just doing it this way may make it click for somebody who doesn't know how to do it and may make it click stronger for someone who does know how to do it but is maybe uncertain. So uh, let's get into it. And this is, again, this is elementary stuff, guys. I coach young kids. So that's my level. Like Nick and, and Clint and, and Josh way up here on the intelligence level. And me, I like to make things really simple. I'm not that smart. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go over there. I'm going to reset the camera. I'm going to have a seat and we're going to talk through this uh, little drill that I do. And hopefully it's very quick for you and very helpful. So it's a, it's just a folding chair. <sighs> Again, this is very simplistic. Am I in a good spot for you guys? Hold on. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, it, it's very simplistic. And again, bracing is just stopping forward momentum, right? Forward momentum helps in the acceleration of our speed and the acceleration of the disc. Uh, and then coming to an abrupt stop is your brace in order to maximize the speed of your arm and your, your uh, rotation and your disc. Learning how to stop yourself is key in getting distance. The concept here is just teaching our bodies to feel what that resistance is is like. So the first thing that I do, that I want you to do is go ahead and, and get a chair just like this and, and lift up your feet, okay? Just lift up your feet off the ground, okay? It doesn't have to be a whole lot, just lift up your feet so there's no support on the ground and try to throw a couple of discs and see how your body feels with no support at all on the ground. Then I, what, what I want you to do is I want you to put your feet on the ground and don't apply a lot of pressure. I just want them touching the ground to sort of stabilize and balance you from falling over and falling backwards. Don't put pressure down, just rest them on the ground. And then take a couple of other discs and now throw them into the net. So you feel now with this throw that you have more power and speed. Why? because you have contact with the ground that is initiating some sort of brace to allow you to resist the ground and, and spin through your throw, okay? Rotate through your throw. So you can start to see how 
the brace gives you more power from here to here. So the third step of this is now actually applying pressure, right? For me, it's this front left foot, right? Because I'm left-handed. For you all, it's the front right. But now, put, put your left foot in front of you, right? So you're shifting from, you know, the standard seat. So now just shift your foot out in front of you like you're bracing into the ground with your throw, right? And this takes all of my body weight out of it so I can really feel what pushing into the ground feels like. You really, to me, when I first did this, you really feel, you can really feel what it feels like to push this foot into the ground when you're sitting down, right? So now when I go to throw, I really, I want to put a lot of pressure right now. I want to put a lot of pressure on this front foot, okay? And then as I reach back and pull through, I want to push down, push down against the ground with this front foot as I'm pulling through. So right now I'm pushing down, I'm putting a good bit of pressure. I, I don't want to, you know, throw myself back into the chair, but I want to put pressure down, right? Tighten up this quad a little bit and put pressure down on the ground. But as I pull through, I want to push down even more. I want to try to push my, my foot through the ground okay so now apply even pressure right now go to my backswing and then as i'm pulling through push down as i'm pulling through and what you'll notice what you'll notice is your butt <laughs> if i'm up on the front of the chair as i pull i will slide back and against the back of my chair right so if i'm sitting up a little bit and back not against the chair that's what's supposed to be happening in your brace because your forward momentum carries you to this spot and you're putting your foot into the ground to stop it. This hip cannot go forward anymore. What you're essentially doing is stopping this hip and causing it to stay in place. Essentially, because I don't have forward momentum when I'm doing this right now, it simulates pushing back, right? But when I'm running up, the brace will stop this hip and force this hip around. So essentially what is happening with your drive hip is it's going back. At the same time, this hip is going forward. That's the brace. That's the elementary explanation of the brace. And you really feel it when you sit down in a chair. To me, it takes my body weight out of it. I can really feel what my foot's trying to do when I'm bracing, when I'm sitting down. So this is a great drill for your mind to sort of get connected to what this brace feels like. So do this for a while, get a stack of discs and do this for a while and get your mind used to pushing down against that foot and having that hip drive back against the chair. And I think if you haven't been able to grasp the brace up until this point, this will help. Because then I, what I want you to do is get rid of the chair and stand up, let me get a disc. Get that front foot out in front of you like you're sitting down, but now you're standing up and do the same thing. Feel the same thing. Use your mind connection that you just did in the chair to do the same thing. Okay? Standing still. And just feel your push against that front leg as you're coming through. Okay? And if you still don't get it, throw one or two in the chair and then immediately stand up and throw one or two standing up. And I, I'm all, I can almost guarantee that it will start clicking in your mind what we mean by bracing. I mean, because bracing is, I mean, again, bracing is essential to speed. I did a test with my tech disc, and I'll put the, the stats up on this side, I guess. With my feet up, I threw 37 miles an hour. Uh, with my feet just touching the ground, I threw 45 miles an hour. And then with pushing against, I threw 52 miles an hour. So you'll see an exponential increase in speed as I brace more, right? With no brace, with a little brace, with a lot of brace. So bracing is key to our speed. I hope this helps. Again, I hope it wasn't too wordy or too long. I've done it the past couple of days. And even though I have been bracing fairly well for a long time, it still helps me 
in connecting my brain to what my foot is actually doing so that I don't have to think about it anymore. There you have it. There's the basics of bracing as explained by Bunky. Uh, I hope this helps. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, if this information has helped you pass it along to somebody else, bring them to the channel because this is what I'm all about sharing knowledge, uh, testing things out, trying things out, and then, you know, passing them on to whoever will listen. Until next time, enjoy the journey, and here's your burst of the day.